you ever feel a bit puzzled by the Bible passages you read? So in Mark chapter 8, verse 14 to 21, Jesus sets off with his disciples in a boat. They haven't bought enough bread. And Jesus says to them, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and that of Herod. They think it's because they haven't got bread. And Jesus is like, they would be stupid. Do you not remember how I miraculously fed the crowd's bread when they had nothing to eat? That's not a problem for me. Do you still not understand? I had a little bit of a chuckle at myself when I got here because I was feeling a bit stupid. I'm like, I don't know about those disciples, but I'm not sure I've totally understood. So I've had to do a bit of digging, think about what Jesus is trying to say with this warning, of this yeast of the Pharisees he's talking about. If you look at the passage just before in Mark, you see that the Pharisees have been asking Jesus for a sign from heaven to prove who he really is, straight after Jesus had miraculously fed the crowds in the wilderness for the second time. That clearly wasn't enough of a sign for them. There's another place in the Gospels where Jesus talks about yeast. In Matthew 13, it's a positive metaphor here about the kingdom of God. And he talks about this yeast, which is a tiny little thing, working its influence all the way through a piece of dough. So this is what I think may be going on. Despite all these miraculous signs, for whatever reason, perhaps because Jesus hadn't fit in with their expectations, the Pharisees' attitude has robbed them of faith. And Jesus' warning to his disciples is this, beware those attitudes which may seem like small things, but which could work through your life like yeast in the dough and trap you into doubting Jesus. So what's the yeast in your life? What niggles away at your faith, drags you down? I'll be honest, for me, all these restrictions, not being able to see or hug family members, the lack of human connectedness, not having set foot in anyone's house for months, my own frustrated expectations have sapped faith in me. Am I going to let that spread through my life? I don't know about you, but I'm asking for God's help to lift my eyes again, to see that all of this is temporary, that Jesus is victorious, that he's working out his purposes for the world. And maybe that's a prayer for all of us today. Have a great day.